Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is Boop I Love You, Chapter 23, and this one is titled Fate Pulls Strings. The next morning, you woke up in your friend's room. She had laid out a mattress on the floor for you, and as comfy as it was, it just wasn't Shinso's bed. You rolled over and buried yourself beneath the covers, thinking back over the months that you'd spent with Shinso. Your heart ached and you started crying again. This was going to take a little while to get over. You finally got up and took a shower. Your friend had left for school already, but you had decided to just stay at her home and recuperate for the day. Or maybe three days. You just didn't feel like interacting with anyone. As you undressed, you looked up into the mirror and realised that you still had the ribbon on that Shinso had tied around your neck instead of the collar. You ran your fingers over it lightly and more tears welled up in your eyes. Taking it off slowly, you placed it gently on the bathroom counter. I'll wear this as a memento, you thought as you turned and hopped into the shower. The next few weeks were an adjustment for you. You went back to living at home with your family, started attending school again, and did your best to avoid the awkward question of where did you go for three months? You just told people you studied abroad for a bit, and most people accepted that. Shinso was taking your departure pretty roughly too, and he'd be lying if he said he didn't wander the streets some night hoping to catch a glimpse of you, or hoping that you would come running back to him. Most days at school, he would just daydream off and miss whole lessons, wondering where you had gone and who you really were. His grades started to suffer a bit, and a few times he had been pulled aside by teachers and the principal to ask if everything was alright. He promised he was fine. How the hell was he supposed to explain how he was feeling and why? It was just too weird to say out loud. I'm sad because my cat, that's really a shapeshifter, ran away and I feel lost and lonely. Just didn't quite sound normal, so he kept it to himself. Three weeks had passed now, and you were missing Shinso, but doing your best to resume a normal life. You still drank out of straws and kept the ribbon around your neck, but most of your other cat-like antics had dissipated. How are you going? Your friend asked one afternoon as he was spacing out on the walk home. Hmm? You armed in question. Me? Oh, um, yeah, okay, I guess, he replied. Do you miss him? She asked quietly. Yeah, every single day I think about him, he replied sadly. Would you ever go and see him in human form and explain who you are? She asked. What? You screeched, mortified. I couldn't do that. How would I even explain myself? What would he do? What if he yelled at me or turned me into the police? Your friend shrugged. I was just asking. You sighed. I'm just conflicted. I'm sorry. Like, I really want to see him again, but I couldn't do it in human form. And I've blown my chances in cat form, so there's not much I can do, but just move on. You know I'm always here for you, yeah? Your friend said, bumping your shoulder softly with hers as you walked. Yeah, he said with a gentle smile. Thank you for being there for me. No problem, you walking disaster, she said playfully. Plus, I seriously need to keep an eye on you because I can't afford to let you do something so stupid again. Your parents would kill me, especially after this whole extension experiment thing is over. She sighed and shook her head. What do I do with you? Keep me, he replied with a cheeky smile. Hey, bro, you okay? Kevinari asked Shinso as they headed home from school. Me? Yeah, fine. Why? Shinso asked. Hey, you've just been really quiet since the whole thing with, um, Sin, Kevinari said. Hmm. Shinso hummed. Yeah, well, I just don't know what to make of it all. Is it weird that I really miss her? Nah, dude, not weird at all, Kami replied, kicking a stone to, as they walked. Would you ever try and find out who she was? How would I even go about that? Shinso asked. Go to the quirk registry and look up shapeshift quirk users, then narrow it down from there, Kaminari offered. Nah, that'd take forever, Shinso sighed. And what would I even say if I found her? Hey, it's me, the guy you lived with for three months. I went looking for you because I missed you. How weird does that sound? He said with a snort. Yeah, but what if she's super cute and has been wanting to find you too again? Kaminari said. And what if she's wanting to never see me again? Shinso deadpanned back, rolling his head to the side to look at Kaminari with his tired purple eyes. Should just move on. Kaminari shrugged. Okay, man, I'm always here for you, though. If you ever want to find her again, I'm down to help. Thanks, Kaminari. I really appreciate it, Shinso said with a grateful small smile. The next day at school, Aizawa took a special class on the dangers of quirk manipulation. Been involved in a few cases recently involving quirk duration extensions, he said in his notoriously bored voice. 
I just want you to get into groups and discuss the negative effects of the manipulation, then present to the class. Everyone broke into groups and discussed the topic, and then did their presentations. Shinso was elected to read out the answers from his group and took to the front of the class to present them. Um, one negative aspect, he stated, is the wielder could get stuck in permanent quirk activation and not be able to deactivate. Good point, Shinso. Aizawa said from where he stood to the side of the classroom, leaning against the wall with his arms crossed across his chest. One case I was involved in had this exact issue. The wielder was a shapeshifter and she got trapped in her shift form. Shinso paused when he heard Aizawa's comment. His deep purple eyes met his teacher's and he looked at him for a moment before speaking. Uh, sir, did you just say the wielder got caught in shift form? Can I ask what she shift shapeshifted into? Shinso asked. It was a cat form. Aizawa stated plainly. Shinso's eyes widened. Sir, when did this case happen? Was it a few weeks ago? Yes, about three weeks ago. Why do you ask Shinso? Aizawa asked curiously. Was it a white cat with blue eyes? Shinso asked in a strained voice, his vocal cords seizing in anticipation of the answer. Aizawa eyed Shinso carefully before answering. Shinso, can you see me after class? He said. Yes, sir, the indigo ant replied. Crap, is it her? Oh god, I hope it's her. I don't know about you guys, but my arm is full of goosebumps right now. Stay tuned for the next chapter, chapter 24, coming tomorrow.